Okay, so I want to delve a little bit deeper into Link. So to begin with, I'll do the course by Deborah Carrata, which is uh, called Practical Link, and this is basically introduction to Link. So this first video is going to uh, be an introduction to Link query syntax. So Link is a language integrated query, and it allows us to write SQL-like queries in C# -sharp code. So we can query anything that has has a link provider. So this can be a link to SQL, link to entities, link to objects, even link to XML. And now there are even some other providers. So anything that supports the link provider, we can use link to query. We have two different types of syntax when it comes to link. One is called query syntax and this is like a more verbal type of syntax and then we have a method syntax which is more method-like syntax which is uh, more commonly used these days. This was in the beginning people used this and then everybody switched to method syntax that uses lambda expressions but it's good to understand both because you might run into systems, older systems, you know that people use the query syntax. So query syntax is made of query expression, which is this whole thing is a query expression that contains one or more SQL-like query operators from where and then select. And very important to understand here is that Link uses deferred execution so this code right here is not really executed until we actually call one of the still have to call one of the methods on it like first first or default or some of the other methods but this actually query has to be called and executed and then it's actually executed this can be helpful if the list is very large and we are for example selecting only the top item first item it won't even loop through the whole list So I'm going to go ahead and delve into the code, to the example. So what I'll do here, I'll create a new project, ACM project, and uh, a new solution that's going to have test project and library project in it. So I created a solution, empty solution, and then I'll add my projects here. And I just added acm.bl project. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a folder here, solution, uh, solution folder, and I call it tests. And in here I'll go ahead and add a new test project. And I created acm.bl.test project, which is going to be used to test and actually execute our uh, learning things that we'll do here. Now what I'll do here, I'll delete this class. I'll go ahead and add two more classes here. One is going to be our customer class and one is going to be our repository class. And here I have customer class and customer repository class. And uh, in our customer class, I'll go ahead and uh, paste the data, paste what the class has, the properties. And here's our customer class, customer ID, first name, last name, customer type ID, and email address. And here's our customer repository class, which basically has a list of customers. Just kind of hard-coded. This is not typically, of course, it's done. It's usually something that will be coming from a database. So now what we want to do is we want to add a method here that is going to find a certain customer. So in order to do this, we'll create public method of type customer and we can call it uh, find customer and it will take in the list of customer list we can call it C or customer and then we want an integer C 
customer ID. So we're going to be passing the whole list and an ID of the one that we want to find. So one of the ways to find something in a list is to use for each. And we can say for each customer C in our in our well I should rename this to customers our list. So it's customer C in customers because it's our list. And then we want to match if C dot customer ID equals the customer ID that we passed up there. Then we can return our C. So that's the, that's the object that we want to return that's in the list. So the particular one that has the C. Uh, or otherwise we just return no. So now we want to go ahead and test this. So we can go here. We can delete this unit test. And we can go ahead and add a new class here. So I added a new class here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure this is a test class. And add the unit testing. And then here we're going to add the method that is going to do the test. Public void uh, let's see what the name is so what we are testing is we are testing find customer. So I can say test find customer. And the test is going to have, every test has three things, a range, act, and assert. Arrange, act, and assert. So, in order to arrange, we need to create an instance of our repository and get a customer list. So, here's our. We need to also add the reference. So, here we arranged, so we created an instance of our customer repository and we retrieved our customer list. So then to act, what we want to do is we want to call it. So we want to say var result and then we call our uh, repository object again. And we say find customer. We pass in the whole list like it's necessary and we say we want a customer 2. By ID of 2. And then in our assert we would take the data that we know about a customer to and we will compare the, the results. So we know that uh, use r equal to customer d, r equal name, last name and a first name. So that's how we compare it. And very important also here in order for this to work, this needs to be a test method. So testing is always done as we develop, so just like this. Anything that we develop, any method that needs to be tested, we develop a test right away. So now we can go ahead and test this. Test, run, all tests. And we'll see if it passes. So it's missing something, 
and I was wondering whether this and it needs test context. Let's try it again. And we have to make sure that test class is public, otherwise it won't run. So it has to be public and it has to have a test method to run. So test run all tests and we see that it passed. So it was able to retrieve and compare. So now from this syntax we would like to go to our link syntax and this is not this is a link query syntax which is a kind of verbose syntax so in order to do this we can go ahead and get rid of our for each and then we use var keyword we can use query to hold and then we say from from C in customers. So basically what this is saying is from each one of the objects that's in this list and we call it C so each one is what you want to select filter where so in this object where the customer ID equals to the one that we passed when this happens we want to select that particular one so this will give us this will take that object behind the scenes and uh, put it into a new list and all of this actually behind the scenes stuff that happens here with this syntax when this gets taken back into the complier like I know what happens is that uh, this is this creates a delegate so now we want to since this actually returns a, a uh, enumerable we really can't return this right here. I see it's I numeral or customer. So what we want to do is we want to retrieve a one customer. So we have to define another object for it. And we say that it is query first. Very important thing to note here is that this won't be executed until we run this method on it, until we actually create the first. It will only loop once because we are getting the first value and that is called uh, deferred execution. So the code defining the link statement is not executed until its result is required. So it runs right here, and then we return to cust. So if we run the test again, we should get the, again, the passing score. And it passed. So this is how easy it is to get started with the link query syntax. It's a more ver verbose syntax. But this also, in the background, turns into the delegate. So syntax is just here to kind of, I think they tried to mimic SQL 
syntax so it's easier for developers you know going from because it's assumed that most of the developers that develop in C sharp also develop in SQL which is probably the truth so they wanted to make friendly syntax here but what happens is this is actually taken in by the complier complier then parses this out into something that it understands better and it then parses it into the delegate. 